2020 has been a year like no other. Here in Roseland, we have made every attempt to make it as normal as possible for the families and residents of Roseland. Today, we are gonna to be doing our annual story time for the holidays. We hope this finds you and your family well and wish you the happiest and most healthiest holiday season as possible. Thank you and God bless. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the borough, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The Noworker children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and my in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When to what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Trillo, now Tolly, now Frida and Fishman, on Parati, on Bardi, on Spango and Roseland. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house stop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nick came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkles, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old self, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his hand gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all of Roseland and to all a good night.